You know, it seems egocentric to be into astrology, and it seems intelligent to be skeptical, but I think it's actually vice versa. I mean, it's kind of like narcissism versus nihilism. You know, which one will actually, you know, show you some growth in the end? You know, yourself. You shouldn't discard yourself as some other floating conscious being. You are something, and scientists want to just keep proving that you're nothing and that the more they find out, the less significant the human mind is until they get, of course, into quantum physics. And then the scientists... It's like the whole point of science at the beginning was to prove God's divine order. And then after a while, after the great scientists died, and then there's just students of science who don't have that actual spark, it was just a curiosity. It wasn't to prove God anymore. It was to prove natural law. And uh, the more we go into the rabbit hole, quantum physics, the more scientists will have to reverse their intent, <clears throat> pardon, their intent on what they're trying to find out. And if they're not going to accept the observer, observer effect and the necessity of philosophy when talking about matter, then there's no reason to, to get in the game. I mean, it was to prove, it was to prove, um, you know, God at first, and then it's just to prove nature, okay? As if, you know, nature wasn't just the divine order called God anyway. It's like I know a jellyfish has the same thing that you and I call a soul. And so that also means I know I will visit it in the DMT world. Even though it won't have a jellyfish body, I won't have a human body. We all do go to some, like, actual medium um, that this captures for some reason. Um, but anyway... It's interesting. So the last supernova was uh, 1987A, and that was the first one in like 400, 400 years from 1604, the Kepler supernova. And the weird part is that it goes the supernova, uh, uh, the supernova. Oh, sorry, the Venus transit of 1883 um, was also exactly in unison with the 52-year cycle um, that corresponds to the supernova. Sorry, y'all going back and forth, just woke up. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you do the 52-year cycle um, from 940, uh, uh, whatever, AD, when Quetzalcoatl was born, 52-52, you're going to get 1519 in there, and that's exactly when Cortez uh, invaded Mexico. And then at the very end is the, the, fifth, the 20th 52-year cycle is 1987. So, I mean, it's just, you know, the last supernova in 400 years, the harmonic convergence, you know, return of galactic wizards, there's something going on, you know? And it's like, if Edgar Cayce can prophesy about this world, you know, why can't he prophesize about some alien world just because he's not feeling their Gaia? You know, like, if we can prophesize about the universe and time wave zero is about the universe condensing, then what do these other planets have to do with it, man? Who knows? And it's like, if aliens do come down here one day, you know, tomorrow, they might not know the past aliens that did come here. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but it's, I should stress it. If aliens do come down, they might not know the past aliens who gave us all the info. You know what I'm saying? McKenna said if the Pleiadians came down, it would still make the psychic mystery of psychically communicating, I mean, the psychedelic mystery of psychically communicating, no less compelling. Okay, there's still something there intangible even if they physically show up and in a sense i believe like all mythological architecture i was got i got this idea from graham hancock all mythological architecture is actually just a remembrance of that kind of shamanic realm like mayan architecture indian architecture it's really psychedelic and it's not just because they're gods and their myths it's because the spirits they met in the shamanic realm while intoxicated quote unquote you know what i'm saying um yeah uh, I find it really interesting that Quetzalcoatl was the Lord of the Dawn, and Nietzsche's book, The Dawn, is really his transition era to becoming an independent philosopher. And uh, the thing about sunspots, there were no sunspots at all from 1645 to 1715. Exactly like pretty much Kant's boring-ass dull life. Didn't even leave his own state, county, or whatever. And I think it's weird, the, the year before... Um, Nietzsche was born, 1843. Our wolf, 
W-O-O-L-F, established the 11.1 year sunspot, sunspot cycle, you know, and he's the sensitivity increase that the sun will probably give to us post-2012. He's a preview of the Ubermensch sensitivity, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. The whole... I just want to mention that dumbass 2012 movie, the whole mass suicide at the pyramid in Tikal. It's completely ridiculous. There's only like 30 people there, and they're all dead. That is... That is the most unrealistic thing you can be. There's going to be a thousand people there cheering and having a great time. And like a couple people like, no, it's the end. Oh, they're not going to all kill themselves, you dumbass Hollywood people. Like, I, I think it's perfect that you do make it that dumb. Because it it's just going to be that much funnier when it does come. 